Hello everyone, I hope you're okay. Uh, my name's Freddie and I'm going to be showing you how to make a bug hotel today. Um, but before we start, I uh, just want to let you know that there's no right or wrong way to do this. Uh, it just really depends on the what you want to attract, the materials you've got around you um, and what, just what you want it to look like. It, it's totally up to personal preference. Um, so for example, I'm going to be making mine with an old uh, milk carton but you could make it with um, some roof tiles you can make them into a like an a shape and fill that you could do a, a tin can um, a flower pot on its side anything um, and you can stack them together to make bigger ones it just depends on what you want to attract um, so before we get started uh, I'm just gonna take you through some of the materials I have uh, and explain why they're good and what they'll attract um, so that you can you can decide what you're going to put in yours. So first up, we have got uh, bamboo and hollow sticks, and these are particularly good for solitary bees. Um, at the moment, solitary bees are slowly dying out. We we're not giving them enough homes, um, but they're really important. Uh, they do about a third of the pollinating uh, for agricultural crops, so they're really important for food. So if you've got a veg patch, um, it's a good idea to get some of these uh, so that soldier bees can come and pollinate your food. Uh, of the 270 species of bee in the UK, 250 of them are solitary bees, so they're really important. They're a really important part of um, the UK's biodiversity. Um, so give them a home, and they're non-aggressive. So if you've got children, or you know you're worried about getting stung, the males don't even have stings, um, and they're very, very non-aggressive. Um, so they're great to have around children, families, etc. So. That's my uh, my first thing. Second thing, I've got so I've got some old turf that's just been lying around for a bit, um, and this is really good for uh, beetles and burrowing insects, um, so that they can hibernate in here. And it would also it can create um, nice dark, damp conditions, things like wood lice. Um, and yeah, so you can get some hibernating uh, insects such as such as ladybirds actually, and they're really good pest control. So again, if you've got crops uh, or you know a little veg patch like I've got next to me here um, and you get things like green flying or all of this whatever like the ladybirds they'll come and hibernate in here and then in the summer months they'll look after your veg patch for you so that's really good and similarly I've got stuff like bark um, and just generally bits of wood and twigs and stuff um, which will just act as a good place for bugs and insects um, to come and burrow in as it's nice and dark but again like I said earlier that's what I've got but if you've got something different you could you could literally you could put anything in you could put some leaves to make leaf litter um, it's a grass um, bigger bits of twig and stuff anything it really it's it's up to you and what you have and what you want to put in it so yeah so that's what I've got and that's what it's good for but let's get making so I'm using uh, this you can use a plastic bottle or anything like that I'm just going to take off any labels on it, which is easier said than done. There we are, so that's the label gone. I am then, what I'm going to aim to do, I'm going to take off this end and I'm going to take off that end. So I'm just going to make a small cut on this end and then I'm just going to cut around the end. So, so there we are, boom, got a nice hole on that end. And then what you want to do is you're gonna end up, once you've taken both ends off, you're gonna cut down the middle here um, and create just like a sheet of plastic. But because the milk carton has this handle on it and we don't want that, um, I'm gonna cut down the middle first on both sides. So like this, I'm gonna cut down this side and then the other side and then that just means that I can come straight in and that's one done that's two done and then I've already got my thing and it's so much easier because this plastic's quite tough it makes it far easier for me just to come in here and snip it so there we are, I found made a sheet of plastic. So if you've got a drinks bottle, you're doing it with that. Um, 
just aim to make uh, one sheet of plastic. Um, and now, really simple, just fill it up with whatever you want. So I'm going for, I'm going to do some turf at the bottom. So let me just stick some turf in. I want to get my veg patch looked after. That's what I want. There we go. I've made a nice, nice base of that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get lots of bamboo and hollow sticky bits. They're going to go in. Nice. A couple more of them. Put them in. And there we go. So there we are. That is basically, that's what my bug hotel is going to look like. Um, and so to keep this all together, really handy if you've got some string and you just tie it around the outside. Put a little, put a little bow in it and make it look nice. There we are, so now, there we are. There's my bug hotel, so now I can go and put that somewhere nice. Um, if you're going for more of the bugs and beetles and insects route, I'd recommend putting it lower down on the floor, obviously, because they can't fly. Um, on the floor in a dark, damp area. Uh, if you're going for the, if you want the bees, the solitary bees, uh, they like it about a meet, at least a metre up, um, so higher up and in a nice sunny area. Um, so it can be nice and warm for the larvae when it's been um, put in the hollow sticks. But yeah, so like I said at the beginning, no right way, no wrong way. Have fun, go and experiment. Um, yeah, and get creative.